Carter's really been pushing me to get the invites done. It's old school engraving. So That's point, let my me, favorite. But. Yeah. This is too boring for me. This is like a little. Oh, I love that. Hand <laughs> that is cute. I mean, it's not for you, but it's really cute. Yeah. This is a fun wedding. Is there any cool like acrylic ones? This What's is that? So cool. It's so me. Right. My mom and I have opposite taste when it comes to invites. I want something that's fun and me. Of course, she never listens. My mom just acts like I'm a little kid and just goes and does whatever she wants. It's my wedding. Shouldn't I be the one who gets to pick the invites? She doesn't even like to be bothered with details. You know? But I'd like to have an opinion. Dear. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> I have plans. Some beautiful weddings in my lifetime, so I know what I'm doing. You can see it in the water. It's hard to believe we're honestly nine weeks away from the wedding. I would start with everything that hasn't been done for the wedding, but that's way too long of a list. So let me start with what's been done. A date, a wedding dress, a venue. But I keep stressing to Paris and Kathy, there are a lot of other details that have to come between now and the wedding. I have with my sisters and their family. So that's like 25, 30 people. And then let's say we have 20 couples. What? But I want some people that I like at the wedding too. I don't blame you. Sounds like your mom's taking 75 people and you're taking 10. I'm getting so frustrated. She's literally inviting more people than Carter and I. Like, it's my wedding. How many times do I have to tell this woman? I have friends, too. <laughs> you want to invite people to your own wedding? Yes. Are you crazy? So we have, like, over 500 people if we combine my list with my mom's and Carter's. Brooklyn can only hold a certain amount. So we really need to do a walkthrough so we can figure out the maximum number of people we can invite. My schedule is just been out of control. I'm so tired. Yeah. Don't it's cry. Been nonstop. Fashion week, my engagement party, and planning this wedding, it's just been way too much to balance everything. Plus, on top of everything, I feel like I'm caught in the middle of my mom and Carter. I want them both to be happy, but it's just a lot. <laughs> my mom and I have different tastes when it comes to invites. She wanted something that was like more white and elegant and plain. And I wanted something that was more like a Disney princess. But I knew that she wouldn't like that one, so I just did it with Carter. It's like a beautiful box that lights up. Wait, this is your invite? Yeah. <laughs> what, you're laughing? You're no, I love it. I love it. It's gorgeous. This is so you. There's nothing Thank more you. Paris yeah. than this. Like, everyone does white. Yeah, it's boring. Obviously. My mom's not going to be happy when she finds out about these invites. We had gone to look at the invitations together, and I thought that I would be, you know, seeing something. The next thing I know, I get a big kick in the stomach with a bill that's like crazy. They went ahead and did it themselves. And to just go ahead and pick something and not include me or let, at least let me see, you know, it kind of hurt my feelings. And I know that Paris would not have gone and done that. I think it was probably Carter. He wanted to get things rolling. And that infuriates me. Amazing. Thank you. Good. Here we are. You're all grown good. up. Your mom and I used to take you in strollers and go to Beverly Hills. Pixie Town. Thinking we were the hottest moms in town. You were the hottest moms. We were pretty cute. We were pretty cute. We were having fun. We still Never haven't changed. changed. Are we going to get married in LA? Yes. 
big days, like in eight weeks. So it's a countdown. Yes. Okay. Lots to do still. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm really so proud. I'm so proud of all of them. And Kim's given her great advice and has been so supportive. I love her so much. She loves you so much. Well, her. you guys are like sisters. Been through a lot together. Through with each other. Thank you so much for coming. Are you it's kidding? I would have get in. I'm so happy for you. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. None of us. Me, Kim, all my kids, Kathy. We just learned from you. Thank you, darling. I just want to raise my glass to both of you, and I speak on behalf of Rick. We are so thrilled for both of you. We adore you. You are an octopus. <laughs> he is a groomzilla. Um, he's got his hands in everything. I mean, he's on the phone with the band. I said, Paris, I am the mother of the bride. I mean, he's calling places before I can even get there. Just remember, she's my oldest baby. She is still the baby. And we're passing her over to you. But I will always be the boss. <laughs> it should be the happiest time of our life. And it's like I can't even enjoy it because I don't know. Stress. My mom is just really stressing out Carter and I. Wait just a few more minutes? Sure, absolutely. Okay. It's so rude. Carter just texted me. Should I come? No. No. Let me call her. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a police mailbox that has not been set up yet. Try her from your phone. She obviously doesn't want to answer my calls. not show up or call? I don't know. I really don't know. Because she didn't go home late last night. No. I texted Charlotte, send us the list. She said Carter has the list. And then apparently Carter's told your assistant that Charlotte has the list. It's a standoff. What are you dangling? She won't give the list. She won't send out to save the dates. She won't commit to anything. It's like crazy town. Can't wait to hear her excuse.